What's happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast, where we discuss about everything Marvel and the MCU. The internet is constantly blazing with various ideas and speculation regarding the MCU. For instance, earlier this month, there was a rumor that swiftly spread that Marvel Squadron Supreme will be their version of the Justice League as they attempted one more time to capture lightning in the bottle with their team-up movie Thunderbolt. While the film's impressive cast of enduring misfit heroes have yet to be joined by a villain, Circulating rumors are pointing to Ryan Gosling or Alexander Skarsgård playing the villain as the Marvel character Hyperion or Sentry because it is said that the primary antagonist of the villainous team-up will be an evil Superman. And here's a quick one before we go further into the news. Guys, we'll be giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. And so, speaking of an evil Superman character, Sentry or Hyperion will likely be the chosen character because there aren't many Marvel characters who can fulfill this criteria, but depending on the rumors you hear, it could be Hyperion or Sentry or even both. YouTuber Grace Raldorf claims that Marvel is casting for Valinous Superman. However, the arrow points towards Hyperion and Sentry as they are both Superman ripoffs. Grace Raldorf tweeted, and I quote, it sounds like hashtag Marvel is casting an evil Superman for hashtag Thunderbolt. It's going to be hard to top hashtag Homelander. Additionally, according to Daniel RPK, a recent casting grid has been passed around with a description on it that revealed a character that has been advertised for the movie, calling for a male actor between the ages of 30 and 50 to play a conflicted and powerful villain, similar to an evil Superman. And Ryan Gosling was reportedly the front-runner, but Alexander Skarsgård was best known for his role in The Northman also appears to be a contender. I mean, it's no surprise that Gosling is the front-runner because he has so many great films under his belt. Movies like 2015's La La Land and Blade Runner 2049. I mean, the guy could easily go from a lover boy in The Notebook to slamming someone's head in mid-air in The Grey Man, but it's always in the name of love. So, with all of these, fans have recently been wondering if he'll have the chance in the vast Marvel Universe after he collaborated with the Russo brothers on The Grey Man, which also starred the MCU hero Chris Evans. On the other hand, there is Alexander Skarsgård, who flaunted his bulging muscles in 2015's The Legend of Tarzan. Alexander Skarsgård was recently seen in Universal's The Northman, the actors beyond the human body and animal cruelty once again outstanded the public. Skarsgård's confidence and menace performance in Thunderbolt may serve as a sneak peek for more to come. I would prefer to see him more as Hyperion than Sentry. Who is Hyperion? Marcus Milton, who was raised by a human after coming to Earth as a baby and eventually becoming a superhero in the comics, has also occasionally been depicted as a villain due to his violent disposition. Furthermore, Hyperion's participation would support another recent report that suggested that the Squadron Supreme would make an appearance. As a member of the Squadron Supreme, Hyperion first appeared in Avengers No. 69 in 1969 to confront Earth Mightiest Heroes. Two years later, Hyperion made an appearance in the historical redesigned Squadron Supreme. Since then, other iterations of Hyperion have made an appearance throughout the Marvel multiverse, each with its origin, set of allegiances and appearances. Hyperion is a complex and incredible strong character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, whether he is against the heroes of Earth or merging himself as one of them. In essence, Hyperion is an obvious parody of Superman. Marvel's Mac Milton was an incredible alien like Clark Kent who crash landed in the Midwest and was raised by working class parents. However, some people have incorporated government operatives to adversaries for Milton, making the character wander erred on the side of moral complexity. Additionally, the majority of the recent rumors are reported by renowned Hollywood insider Daniel Richman on his official Twitter account at Daniel RPK. In response to a tweet suggesting that all of the Thunderbolt members had their brainwashed, otherwise altered, Richman says, and I quote, they're all victims of some sort of brainwash slash government manipulation. So, the movie's villain should fit the idea perfectly. Richman's cryptic comments that the film's villain will be a perfect fit for the concept of mental manipulation reinforced the idea that the antagonist would likewise have a history of such behavior. And what's more, Richman announced on his Patreon page that Ryan Gosling, the Grey Man, is being considered for an MCU villain role. This wouldn't be the first time that Marvel Studios CEO Kevin Feige suggested Gosling for an MCU job. And just so you know, 
Hyperion has been a grandmaster crafted artificial being, an eternal from another realm, a government experiment and more. All Hyperion variants are either intrinsically evil or have been converted into living weapons. Sentry, on the other hand, is a golden age superhero and unlike Marcus Milton, Robert Reynolds is a drug addict and human ingested an experiment serum and gave him superpowers. This super serum is kind of given to Steve Rogers but stronger. Sentry's extraordinary skills were compared to a million exploding suns. Attempting to be a superhero, his mental disorder created a void which seeks to destroy him by corrupting his mind. So, I don't see him as a villain. That being said, Hyperion is probably the most evil Superman-like character in the Marvel cast. Others like Sentry or Cacklin slash Gladiator usually fall on the side of the heroes because he might be more of an anti-hero than a villain and besides, the void makes him evil. Kind of like a Bruce Banner versus the Hulk kind of scenario. So, Hyperion, in my opinion, fits the bill better. A squad of not so particularly powerful people is led by a wicked Superman who is not by any means as powerful. However, it's difficult to determine for sure. Sentry will likely develop into a truly menacing antagonist if Gosling plays the part, and we are all confident that he'll be a fantastic performance. Both Hyperion and Sentry are on fundamental Superman pitches. Super strength, flying, speed, invulnerability, and energy manipulation are among their shared superhuman abilities. In Hyperion's case, he even has vision that resembles that of a laser. The Sentry, on the other hand, possesses more nebulous abilities such as capacity to tamper with reality. But to be quite honest, it was seem a little strange that the Thunderbolt, who often deal with low-level criminals, and by this I mean street-level villains, will be going up against Superman ripoffs. Although there are few specifics provided, it appears that the character is described as a troubled and strong monster, and even if it goes as far as being the evil Superman, there are ultimately numerous characters who could fit the description from Marvel Comics' lengthy canon. You may also not know about the plot for now, but the team led by Valentin Allegra de Fontaine would include Bucky Bonds, Yelena Belova, Taskmaster, The Red Guardian, and Ghost, as well as the US agent aka John Walker. Thunderbolt, the 35th MCU movie, will gather hand-picked supervillains and send them on a task that requires creative thinking. Valentina Allegra de Fontaine are starred in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Her puppeteering has brought her in contact with the US agent and Yelena Belova. She'll be the Thunderbolt Amanda Waller in the MCU. And in the case you didn't know, Harrison Ford will take over from the late William Hurt in the role of Thedious Thunderbolt Ross, who may end up becoming the Red Hawk and the President of the United States in America in Thunderbolt. According to reports, the Thunderbolts will play a significant role in building the main conflict that will lead to Avengers the Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. And as much as we are all aware, the MCU has produced figures that have served as aspiration for young generation of superheroes as well as villains. The villains and sworn arch enemies of these heroes have risen to the occasion to present the challenge that determines the length to which the heroes are prepared to go and preserve the world and the people in it. Acting as an antithesis response to the righteous shown in The Good Guy, an element that promotes self-preservation in addition to the save the world cliche is necessary for some circumstances though. The Thunderbolt steps in at this point. Thunderbolts could have taken on so much if the rumors are accurate, fighting off a powerful being as Superman to prove to be a formidable test for the crew, which primarily consists of Captain America clones and spies. However, only David Harbour from Stranger Thing has so far provided any indication of the likely part of the film. Therefore, whoever takes the task of combating the Thunderbolts will undoubtedly have their hands full. These unexpected heroes may be the ones fighting to make ends meet if Alexander Skarsgård does emerge as Hyperion. In any case, fans can anticipate a good wild time as both fresh and well-known actors grace the big screen in the superhero mashup. In conclusion, if this information is confirmed to be true, it is clear that the Thunderbolts will assemble to confront this mysterious figure rather than invade Wakanda as prior rumor claimed. And back to our giveaway. Guys, we'll be giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on post notification, like and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also. We want to say thank you to everyone who has supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? What do you think about the alleged Thunderbolt antagonist from the most recent bars? Which of Hyperion or Sentry would you choose and why? 
Would you rather go with Ryan Gosling or Alexander Skarsgård? Anyways, comment below with any of your views. Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.